Welcome to this video series on Thousand Eyes, the network intelligence software as a service platform. My name is Kelvin Charles and I will be taking you through this video series on my channel. This series is intended to show you what Thousand Eyes is and what it does and how it can benefit your organization. I have a mix of slides as well as demonstrations. The intention is to keep the slides to a minimum and keep the uh, information to um, a minimum in the respect of giving you everything you need to know um, in the shortest amount of time so that we can really focus on the technical aspects of what this platform can offer. The Presentations will be broken up into small chunks where possible so that it's easier to consume. So if you are following along, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to be notified of new video content, then hit that notifications tab. Any questions, do reach out to me in the comment section. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what is Thousand Eyes? And it's not the picture on the right, by the way. I just thought I'd put that in because when I first thought about Thousand Eyes, um, I originally thought, is it a solution that um, allows everybody to look into the network, the environment? Um, and I can happily say that it's not. So don't be worried about that. It's actually the uh, logo on the left-hand side. So, what we see today really with enterprises is that we're now moving away from a traditional enterprise uh, environment where the network is controlled by the organization. We have hybrid networks now, especially with uh, the pandemic that's hit, it's forced a lot of organizations to look at an hybrid approach as opposed to keeping everything in the house. And we also access a lot of applications um, in, in the cloud these days. So with that, it means that the company, the organization no longer has that control over uh, being able to monitor their entire infrastructure. So this makes it difficult to see where issues may exist, increasing the, the mean time to resolution or the MTTR uh, within an organization. Thousand Eyes is a software as a service platform and it solves issues by giving you a full view of your digital ecosystem. So whereby you were traditionally only uh, had the capabilities to monitor everything within your control in the organization. Thousand Eyes actually opens that up now out to the internet and into the cloud environments as well. And you'll see how that works in more detail as we go through uh, this video series. It has the ability to provide customers with one visibility, internet visibility, browser insights, end user monitoring and internet insights. So it does quite a lot, you do get quite a lot and you'll see as we get into the demonstrations just how beneficial this uh, solution could, can be for uh, an organization. Thousand Eyes was actually acquired by Cisco in 2020 and is res readily available now for our customers. So if you are looking at Thousand Eyes or would like to find out more outside of these videos and potentially uh, look at um, seeing a demo of this, uh, then do reach out to your Cisco sales representative to find out more. Because my channel focuses on the technical elements of IT products, I will be covering uh, this series of Thousand Eyes to show you how easy it is to get started and to show you just how powerful and beneficial this solution can really be. Each video, as I said, I'm going to break it down into manageable sections um, so that we can cover each of the features on offer within Thousand Eyes. 
So if we just quickly jump into the points that I mentioned um, as to what Thousand Eyes can offer, just very brief. Um, and I've kept this really high level because instead of showing you pictures, I want to really go through it in a demonstration and, and show you the real power of this. So when we look at internet and one visibility, you know, we, we traditionally had in, in networks, in, in organizational networks, um, you know, we'd have our uh, one backbone that would be configured um, so that traffic uh, traversing to the data center would go across the one. And then we had the we had maybe an internet link out going out to the internet so you could access uh, applications across the internet and, and within cloud environments this is 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 now changing um as i said you know we have a more of a hybrid approach now where organizations are actually moving on-prem solutions to the cloud and um, when they're doing that they no longer have the ability to the ability to uh, monitor and, and see what's actually going on with those uh, applications and and whatnot that that that's now uh, being moved from on-premise so a thousand eyes gives you that visibility whether it's across the one or the internet um, so you can see uh, now not only your network but you can see beyond your network uh, across the internet as well the beautiful thing about thousand eyes is that you can see hot by hot path visualization which includes information such as IP addresses locations and and, and networks that um, the, the hop belongs to as well and again like I say we'll see more of this as we get into the demonstration it gives you a detailed visual network uh, well a, a detailed view of the visual uh, network metrics that are available such as BGP routes so we can actually look into uh, all the BGP routes and everything that's going on there uh, we can also look at the uh, DNS availability uh, across the uh, across different providers and we can look at application server availability and performance and that's just all in one uh, aspect of uh, thousand eyes if we look at browser syn synthetics we can simulate users that are interacting with websites or applications so if you say want to test the availability of an application you can simulate that um, just just as like a, a user would uh, you know connecting to that uh, in real life so you can simulate that and see how that website or that application would actually uh, act and see whether it's um, it's functioning correctly the visual representations are provided in the form of waterfalls so you get some uh, nice waterfall um, views that you can see we've got a lot of metrics on the dashboard uh, that you can break down and, and look at um, and you can also look at the application workloads as well when we look at end user monitoring this is focused on the the devices themselves so the end user devices um, so this will involve um, and it will get into this in in the next session as I say these are just bite-sized sessions but this is essentially focused on um, having a agent on the endpoint um, that allows us to uh, get the visibility into um, the applications experience that the the user might be accessing visibility into the state of the the actual network you know if there's issues in the network um, you know you can see that end-to-end -end view from you know right from the end user to um, you know the the application that the user is trying to connect to so you can um, really get to the root of the problem if there is a problem um, using thousand eyes it also gives you the, the ability to provide uh, synthetic network tests, uh, VPN tests and application tests. So this is great for, you know, let's say for instance, if you have um, users that are working uh, remotely, whether it's um, hybrid work or because of the pandemic, they're having to work at home. Um, you know, the having uh, the ability to monitor the endpoint uh, really allows us to um, minimize 
um, or reduce the uh, mean time to resolution when uh, issues are experienced or you know users are, are struggling with VPN connections or connecting to specific specific applications um, that are not in your control usually within uh, within a typical organization let's say uh, we also have the uh, Internet Insights, and what this is is essentially a, uh, a map of the world um, and the, the, the Internet, and um, it shows real live issues across the Internet. Um, so issues that are currently uh, going on or exist within uh, the Internet across the world, you get to drill down into those uh, and see how they may affect uh, your environment or your flaws if you are interacting with an application in, in, in a certain area. You can also look at historical issues as well which is quite cool so you can go back and look at those and it also as I say gives you the ability to dive deeper into an issue to see exactly where the issue is and see whether um, you know proactively you need to look at uh, making a change in your environment or um, you know, routing traffic a different way if you know that um, a specific issue is going to impact uh, your organization as well. So that's it for that whistle stop tour on what Thousand Eyes is and the issues that it can help solve within your organization.